leave me. Hello, sir. I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight. Two men got killed. Now one of them's an idiot. The other's some kind of dumb mick. So maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, sir. Let me out of here, you maggots! Yeah, you think these bars can hold me? You hear me? Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you gonna get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. This wall just needs some good forcing. Yes. Hook that over the bars. And see if you can pull them off. What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. Come on. What the hell are you doing? He wasn't O'Driscoll. Should have known you were up to no good. Come on, Arthur! Let's get the hell out of here! I got some unfinished business! Trust me, Morgan! Trust you? You have finally lost your Let's damn mind! Here. Keep moving, Arthur! God damn, maniac! Ah. We're in it now, Morgan! What do you want to do? Send them all out! Come on! Everything you got! We should be long gone by now! They got something of mine!
had something of mine. My guns. I showed him. And I'll show the rest of this town! You have really lost it this time. In a house call in the middle of all that ain't much I care about more than those guns that much is clear who was that fella skinny yeah we ran together for a while did a bank job down south didn't end well I saw how it goddamn ended he was gonna let me hang I'm starting to wish I had and you owe Lenny too he hadn't found us in time. Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. Some unknown reason. I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. My way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fellow, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time. Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court chest? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. <clears throat> Sons of Dutch. Makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes... Brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. So you ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah!
don't understand this at all. Hey, over here! What's the problem? Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Well, there is a problem. For me, but not for you. All right. <laughs> I ain't got time for no, this. Well, no, wait! Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me. Maximo Cristobal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. Can't say I have. There has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. I helped liberate South America. I've climbed mountains and swum across seas. I have had many women. I've spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country. Reminds me a lot of Almeria. But tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Mm. Well, good for you. No, no, hold on. You see this map here? It was made by the Jack Hall gang. They robbed banks all the way from here to California. Yeah, I know who the Jack Hall gang are. Oh, them you have heard of, but me? Huh. Well, uh, rumor has it they buried gold somewhere in this area, but were killed before they could retrieve it. They created two maps to ensure it was well hidden. This is the first and should lead you to the second. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. Me? Yes. Unfortunately, I am out of time now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of $10. A trifling investment for a man such as you, given the potential returns. Ah, uh, what the hell? Why not? A very wise investment. I wish you the best of luck. Hey, Bill. Did you find much in the O'Driscoll's cabin? Yeah, nearly done, boy. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, 
He'll find something, too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. Arthur, what you want? Oh, man, you one sour son of a bitch, ain't you? Only when I see you. Oh, only when I see you. <laughs> Mr. Morgan. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss? You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Blown it. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Roble, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. I just miss him so much. Of course you do. Goes without saying. What am I gonna do? You're gonna suffer. <laughs> and life's gonna go on. That's the truth of it. I, I won't lie to you. Oh, Miss Roberts. I know. Where, where am I gonna go? Stay here with us. Oh, they ain't so bad. It's nasty out there on your own. I know. You'll be safe here. Ah, Mr. Morgan. You seem chipper. But where there's life, there's hope, my friend. And? Come on, pal.
here, partner. Come take a look at this. Look at this, my friend. Tobacco. Nature's gift to us all. Focuses the mind like nothing else. Whatever you say. Well, I say, why buy it off the shelves when you can make your own? Well, plenty left here if you're interested. I'd best keep moving. Oh, fine eye, mister. Let's go, boy. Knock, knock, Mr. Robe. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. English? Uh, Speak me, English? Me? Uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, uh, good I'll for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. Do you borrow from a German man? Aha, uh, German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, uh, the Kaiserreich. I don't yeah? speak German neither. I'm here for money, money that you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, Leopold Strauss. Uh huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, oh no, no, yeah, yeah. Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu, znajdę ci pieniądze. No, still don't understand you. Where is the money? Gold, dollars. Nie rób tego. I have nothing. No, no, nie. But, but I have this. It's, it's good. It's good. It's valuable. It's, it's Warsaw, yes. I have your things. Okay? I have anything in here or out there. Yes. Very valuable, good? Not good yet. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, that should about cover things.
Okay. Uh, sure. Uh, I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor, dumb animal. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? Well, thank you. You need a ride home, ma'am? Oh. oh, yes, mister, please. Thank you. Do you know Valentine? I live there. No problem. far alone, you know. I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. I, I borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. See, my husband... Well, it's just me and my boy now, and it's hard to find work. Mm, I'm sure it is. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman with a boy to raise. I won't work in no saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. A wealthy man said he'd pay me for the work. Sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Oh, you may be right, I suppose. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. He wanted to meet me first. I'd be careful with offers like that, ma'am. I can't afford to dismiss offers like these, even if they do seem... odd. Well, just be careful is all I'm saying. I may not have another opportunity like this. And now I'll have to pay Mildred back for her horse. It sure sounds like you're in a hard position. Good evening, You Mel. finding me is the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while, sir. now just a little further we're here thank you for all your help you're a good man. Glad I was able to help. You take care. Appreciate it. You be well. Here we are. Yeah. 
Somehow that doesn't surprise me. Oh, Stay alert. Now, why are you so afraid of a pair of gelding tongs? <laughs> I thought you were the horse you expert. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, go on. <laughs> it ain't like you've got balls anyways. <laughs> oh, hell's half acre. <laughs> oh, here and him. Mr. Morgan. Oh, oh, my bone. <laughs> Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. One of the girls saw that friend of yours, Mary Gillis, sniffing about. Mary? Yes. I never liked that woman, Mr. Morgan. Funny business. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Called in on the small holder, Robo. Didn't even speak English. <laughs> good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. <laughs> 